Yeah, my practice often approaches like the absence um, as a result of loss um, and the joyfulness in the face of grief. Taking these parts of my nan and her, the experience of caring for her and also the process of knit itself, quoting and grabbing lyrics and sort of putting them into the work as well and how they can sort of encapsulate a lot of these feelings it's sort of in between the lines pink line sort of is present and it's sort of within the text itself it's sort of this non-linear retreading of these memories and these feelings entwined with other material that sort of resonates with that time i think it's finding that balance between the joy and like the pain of grief and sort of what why you feel grief in the first place is because of the loss it's the joy of that love and the sort of lasting impact of that love that even allows for grief to take place. There are also like these gay icons who I relate to on like a personal level. It's quite open lyrics and they can kind of project onto that in quite a really beautiful way and relate to anybody in any time or any experience and I think that's just really great.